Hey guys, early morning here in the Northeast. I am working all day today and so is Norm, um, but I'm lucky I have five minutes here and there where I can step outside and take shots at birds. So I'm gonna use that today to run some scope cam footage on my 25 cal. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we just got some of the new varmint knocker slugs um, in 25, um, 32.8 grains is what I'll be shooting. The other day when Norm and I did that video <coughs> on uh, the debut of Bob's gun in New York, we were blown away by the impacts and we're dying to find out is it because of 22 caliber and it's traveling faster and therefore hitting harder or is it more about slug design and I want to see if we get the same kind of explosive impacts that we got with the 22 varmint knockers. Um, I would be happy either way. If the 22 seems like that's the difference, then I'll be switching to 22 for birds. Um, if it's just the varmint knocker slug design versus what we're usually shooting, then I'll just switch to those. Um, either way, we win. But I want to know because Norm and I hit a lot of birds in previous videos that died just off camera. You know, they'll get smacked. We say, oh, feathers and then 20 yards off the roof or silo, they just fold and fall. Um, they're effective and they're doing the job, but it's not quite as satisfying as watching a pigeon slide off a silo and fall, um, and it doesn't make quite as good footage. And what I'm really curious about, and I doubt I'll find that out today, but um, what I'm really curious about is if we chest shoot woodchucks with these, if they are acting more devastating because of the huge hollow points, what happens um i guarantee you we will bring that video to you i just don't know if it'll happen today because i'm stuck at work so i can't really walk away but i think i'll get some opportunities on birds and we'll see what the differences are so stick with us this one's at 90 yards Holy moly. Wow. So that is a big vote for slug design. That's the bird that I just shot up there. Um, I mean, you can see that the entire thing is just fully disrupted. That's pretty amazing. It looks to me like, oh, lucky bird, lucky bird. Not that one though. Wow. I think it's roughly the same 88. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Wow. That's 25 caliber. That is a lucky bird right there. Don't normally uh, get robins up in those trees, so I was surprised to see it was, but it's a good thing to know your birds from the back and the front. It's obvious when, uh, when robins are facing you, but you really have to know what they look like from all angles. Lucky bird. This one's at 136 yards. Ah. I hate it when I can't see where I missed. Is that 102 yards? I'm gonna wait for a chest shot. Let's see how these perform. Oh. Yep. Pretty obviously hit. Perfect placement too, but not dead right there. It's not going to drop on like a 308, obviously, because it's still an air gun, but pretty good. There's no point in shooting them in the head to test the slugs because you could shoot him in the head with a pencil and he's going to go straight down. But uh, I promise he's dead dead in his hole right now. Try this one. 134. Oh. 
<laughs> Straight down. This one's at 88 yards. Whew. That's a whole lot of feathers. This was one of the worst shots of the day, and it barely grazes the top of his back. Now, this is a strong argument for slugs because I know with pellets in that hit, it's just not getting done. Um, but just about any slug will. Um, these explosive ones seem to throw off a whole lot more than I expected for a graze. And I'm happy for that because he fell just off camera. All right. This one is 118 yards. Oh, ho, 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 ho. literally took up the first stage. That was at 70 yards. 60 yards. Oh my goodness. All right, this one's at 95. like it hit the wire <clears throat> so I must have gotten that range wrong this one should be about 85 yards shot the last one in the chest so we're gonna try and head shoot this one get a better range yeah 84 Straight to the back of the head. Nice. Performing exactly as expected for a headshot, obviously. So, Norm got done with work, as you can see by all the gun paraphernalia suddenly <laughs> laid out here. So I'll call the day's testing concluded, and uh, we can all draw our own conclusions, but for sure, just as effective on woodchucks with the VKs, and... Uh, the birds are just wow, wow, blap. Um, so yeah, I'm happy and I'm out. Three, two, done, done, done. <laughs>